LA's totally awesome, claims to be an awesome degreaser, and Zep, can it put some pep in the degreasing step? The question is, which degreasers are the best? Well, let's find out. In the first test, let's see which degreaser can actually dissolve grease. Then we'll see which one does the best job at removing stains from concrete. We'll also see which one tackles mildew the best. Maybe dish soap is actually better than these degreasing products. At a price of $6 for 32.7 ounces is this Dawn Ultra Platinum. Helps remove up to 99% of grease. There's a long list of ingredients on the back of the container. The Dawn dish detergent is made in USA. The instructions call for adding one teaspoon to a gallon of water. I bought 16 ounce spray bottles for the degreasers. So I'll go ahead and add a fraction of a teaspoon of dish detergent to the water. I purchased brand new white cleaning cloths. I'll go ahead and cut them into four pieces and then I'll saturate them with oil that I've drained out of a diesel engine. This oil is very dark and it'll be difficult to remove. I'll go ahead and add 10 ounces of the Dawn dish soap and water to the quart jar. Let's see how well the Dawn dish detergent works after 30 seconds with the paint can shaker. The water is a little bit murky, but it doesn't seem like it's done a very good job. Let's allow the dish detergent to soak for about 30 minutes. At a price of $6, is this super clean? It already comes ready to use in a spray bottle. It claims to dissolve grease super easy, super fast. We're going to test that. It's designed to be used on engines, tools, grills, driveways, concrete, outdoor furniture, and more. I'll go ahead and use the Super Clean at full strength since it comes ready to use in a spray bottle. And the Super Clean definitely seems to be attacking the oil. And the liquid inside the Super Clean container is very murky. The dish detergent is on the left and the Super Clean is on the right. And the Super Clean definitely seems to have done a much better job. At a price of $7 is this Purple Power. Concentrated industrial strength cleaner and degreaser. I'll keep using the same funnel for each of the products, so I'll rinse with water and dry it between testing each of the brands. Made in USA. The Purple Power instructions allow for using the product at full strength, so I'll go ahead and use the Purple Power at full strength. And the dark color of the cleaner definitely makes it difficult to determine how much oil is being lifted from the cloth. However, just like the Super Clean, the Purple Power seems to have done a good job of breaking down the oil. At a price of $9 is this Cred Cutter. It claims to be non-toxic and biodegradable. The Cred Cutter is made by Rust-Oleum Corporation and made in USA. I'll go ahead and use the Cred Cutter at full strength. And the Cred Cutter is definitely cutting the crud. There's definitely a lot of oil that's been extracted from the cloth. And the liquid inside the container looks very dirty. At a price of $12 is this Zep. It's a concentrated heavy-duty citrus degreaser. For tough soils, use in full strength. The Zep is made in USA. Let's go ahead and use the Zep at full strength since the instructions allow for it. And the bright orange color of the Zep makes it very difficult to determine how well it's working. However, the Zep is definitely breaking down the oil. At a price of $14 is this Oil Eater brand. It claims to be hungry to clean. It's their professional strength concentrate. Made in USA. They claim that their product dissolves grease on driveways, cleans engines, and lawn mowers. We're going to test that. Right on the bottle, dilute with water before use, but there's no instructions on how much to dilute the product. And the Oil Eater says to dilute it with water before use. However, I couldn't find instructions on the container regarding the proper ratio. So I'll go ahead and use 50% water and 50% Oil Eater. And the Oil Eater is definitely attacking the oil, but it doesn't seem to be removing as much oil as some of the other brands. At a price of $14 is this WD-40 Specialist. Instructions call for letting the product sit for a few minutes and then rinse with water. Safe on sensitive metals, low odor, and biodegradable formula. The WD-40 is made in USA. I'll go ahead and use the WD-40 grease remover at full strength. And there's already an oily film that's formed inside the container even before shaking it. And the WD-40 is definitely cutting some oil and it seems to be performing very well just like several of the other brands. At a price of $17 is this Spitfire brand. It claims to be heavy duty. No dilution necessary. I'll go ahead and use the Spitfire at full strength since the manufacturer's instructions allow for it. And the Spitfire seems to be attacking the oil just as a aggressively as a WD-40 and the oil eater. And the fluid inside the container looks like a latte espresso with hot steamed milk, but looks can be deceiving. At a price of $18 is this Goof Off brand. It claims to work the first time and there's no goofing off. It's specifically designed as a concrete cleaner. It claims you need to dilute to one and a half ounces per gallon of water. The Goof Off is made in USA. The instructions do call for diluting the Goof Off, so I'll dilute it to the proper amount for 16 ounces. In fairness to the product, Goof Off is a concrete cleaner and I'm using it for cloth and not concrete. However, a cleaner is a cleaner, and it'll be very interesting to see how it performs. And the Goof Off fluid doesn't seem as murky as some of the other brands. At a price of $20, is this LA's Totally Awesome? There's a dilution scale on the side of the container. As seen on TV, full strength is recommended for use on an engine. Made in USA. And the LA's Totally Awesome does allow their product to be used at full strength so I won't dilute the product. And it didn't take long before the yellow fluid became very murky. And the LA's Totally Awesome looks as dark as chocolate milk with a lot of oil removed from the cloth. At a price of $22 is this Simple Green Pro HD. It claims to be a cleaner, degreaser, and deodorizer. 
Professional grade concentrated, this bottle makes up to 14 gallons. For heavy cleaning strength, dilute one cup of Pro HD with three cups of water. I'll follow the instructions and dilute the Simple Green Pro using one part degreaser to three parts water. Even with the one to three ratio, the Simple Green is attacking the oil. The fluid seems just as murky as the LA's Totally Awesome. At a price of $23 is this OxyClean brand. It claims to be great for grease and grime. For the most severe jobs, there's no requirement to dilute this product. The OxyClean is made in USA. The manufacturer's instructions allow for full strength, so let's go ahead and use the OxyClean at maximum strength. And the OxyClean is really attacking the oil after just a few seconds. The fluid seems just as murky as the LA's Totally Awesome. At a price of $22 is this Extreme Simple Green Aircraft Cleaner. Is it possible that this is a secret weapon against grease? Use a product to water ratio of 1 to 3 for heavy duty cleaning. Leave on surface 1 to 2 minutes. If soaking, leave for 5 to 15 minutes. Just like the Simple Green Pro, I'll follow the manufacturer's instructions to reduce the Simple Green aircraft to 1 parts cleaner to 3 parts water. And the aircraft degreaser is attacking the oil, but it's hard to say if it's performing any better than the other brands until we rinse out the cleaner. All the products have had at least 30 minutes of soaking time to include a vigorous 30 second shake. So I'll go ahead and drain the quart jar and rinse the cloth with clean water. I'll go ahead and wring out the cloth as much as possible and I'll rinse and refill with clean water. Let's go ahead and shake the jar again for 30 more seconds. And the cloth is pretty well rinsed after 30 seconds. All of the cloth test pieces have been rinsed, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. Unfortunately, the Dawn dish soap just didn't do a very good job of removing all the oil from the cloth. And the dish detergent is on the left, and the Super Clean is on the right. And the Super Clean did a much better job. And Super Clean is on the left, and Purple Power is on the right. We'll have to allow these to dry completely before we call a winner. And the Crud Cutter has also performed a lot better than the dish detergent. And the Zep has done a really good job, possibly the best yet, but we won't know for sure until all the cloths are dry. And the Oil Eater has definitely done a good job of eating the oil, but it's too soon to say whether it's better than the competition. And the WD-40 degreaser has gone after the oil and the cloth is looking pretty decent but probably not the best in the lineup. With a name like Spitfire, expectations are pretty hot. And the Spitfire looks decent but probably not the best we've seen. Unfortunately, the Goof Off has been goofing off and didn't perform well. In fairness to the product, it's designed for concrete and not for cloth. And the LA's Totally Awesome definitely seems to perform better than average but we'll know for sure once all the test pieces are completely dry. And the LA's Totally Awesome definitely seems to have done a pretty decent job at removing the grease. And the Simple Green Pro HD has also performed very well and is giving LA's Totally Awesome a run for the money. And this is exactly the kind of job that the OxyClean is designed to tackle. And the OxyClean has definitely performed better than many of the other brands. So the question is, is the Simple Green that's designed for aircraft better than all the other brands? It's hard to say yet, but it definitely performed very well. Let's go ahead and allow the test pieces to dry overnight and we'll see which brand came out on top later in the video. Let's go ahead and kick off our next test. I'll add a small amount of grease to each of the test cups. Oil can be a challenge to break down, but grease is even more difficult. So let's give the degreasers 24 hours and we'll check back on this later in the video. I bought all the concrete blocks at the same time and then soaked them in motor oil for 24 hours to simulate a badly stained driveway. I then allowed the oil to drain off the blocks for 24 hours. Let's apply all the products and see which brand does the best job at removing the oil. I'll thoroughly coat all the blocks. The white cloth below the blocks will collect the oil that drips off of the blocks. Very little oil washed off the blocks from the dish detergent. And the Super Clean definitely did a lot better job than the dish detergent. And the Purple Power seems to perform about the same as the Super Clean. And the Cred Cutter just doesn't look like it removed much oil. Zep is orange and it's hard to say how well it performed. And the Oil Eater didn't seem to perform too well so far. The WD-40 Degreaser removed some of the oil but not as much as some of the other brands. And the Spitfire is pretty fired up and did a pretty good job. And the Goof Off made just a little progress. LA's Totally Awesome seems to have dissolved more oil than the goof off. And the Simple Green Pro HD didn't perform as well as the LA's Totally Awesome. And the OxyClean also performed very well. Simple Green Aircraft also performed well. Let's go ahead and use this pressure washer attachment to clean the concrete blocks. It's designed to clean the concrete slab evenly. I'll once again spray down the concrete blocks with the degreasers and allow the products to soak in for several more minutes. I'll make two very slow passes across the concrete blocks and I'll allow the blocks to dry out under the direct sunlight until tomorrow afternoon. We'll check back on this later in the video. I had a couple friends come over and organize these test pieces from worst to first. And finishing in 13th place is the Goof Off. Just to be fair, the Goof Off is not advertised as being used for cloth. Finishing in 12th place is the Dawn Dish Detergent. And the Crud Cutter finished in 11th place. Finishing in 10th place is the Purple Power. And it's a 9th place finish for the LA's Totally Awesome. And the Spitfire finished in 8th place. Finishing in 7th place is a super clean brand and it did a great job. And the name Oil Eater definitely seems to fit as the Oil Eater finished in 6th place. And finishing in 5th place is a Simple Green Aircraft. WD-40 performed very well with a 4th place finish. Simple Green Pro finished in 3rd place. And the 2nd place finisher is OxyClean. And the 1st place finisher is Zep. Again, the top 5 brands performed almost identical and performed very well. It's been right at 24 hours since the grease was placed inside of each one of these degreasers and I had some help judging the performance. 
with the 13th place finish is a goof off brand. Unfortunately, it just didn't do a good job of dissolving the grease. And a Simple Green Aircrafty Greaser finished in 12th place. The Simple Green Aircrafty Greaser did begin to break down the grease, but just didn't make very much progress. And it's called Purple Power, but it just doesn't have much power when it comes to dissolving grease. And it's an 11th place finish for the Purple Power. The Dawn Dish Detergent finished in 10th place. The dish soap struggled, but it did dissolve a little bit of grease. Finishing in 9th is a WD-40. A few grease floaters, but the WD-40 just did not do a good job of dissolving the grease. And a Simple Green Pro came in 8th place. A few small pieces of grease did break away from the big chunk, but it just did not do a good job of dissolving the grease. Finishing in 7th place is the Crud Cutter. Compared to the previous brands, the Crud Cutter actually did a decent job of breaking down the grease. And the OxyClean did a decent job of attacking the grease and managed a 6th place finish. And a Zip had plenty of pep for attacking the grease with a 5th place finish. And a Spitfire did a lot of damage to the grease finishing in 4th place. And the top three brands all performed well, and the LA's Totally Awesome finished in third place. And the LA's Totally Awesome really broke down the grease. There's part of the glob of grease that wasn't quite dissolved. The oil eater also has an appetite for grease and finished in second place. And the oil eater did a terrific job of dissolving the grease. And the first place finish goes to the Super Clean brand. And the grease looks like melted jello. Great job by the Super Clean. It's taken several years of waiting, but there's finally enough mildew on the siding for this review. I'll spray the degreasers on the mildew in the very middle of each tape section. Then I'll allow the degreasers to work for about 10 minutes. I'll make just one quick pass with an 1800 PSI pressure washer and a 25 degree tip. I've attached a wire to the front of the pressure washer to keep the tip 18 inches away from the siding. The dish soap is on the left and the Super Clean is on the right. And the Super Clean did a much better job. And Super Clean is on the left and it outperformed the Purple Power. And the Purple Power is on the left and it seems about the same as the Crud Cutter which is on the right. Crud Cutter is on the left and the Zep definitely performed quite a bit better. Zep is on the left and Oil Eater is on the right and they both look very close to the same. Oil Eater is on the left and WD-40 is on the right and the Oil Eater did a better job on the mildew. WD-40 is on the left and Spitfire is on the right. And the Spitfire performed a little bit better than the WD-40. Spitfire is on the left and Goof Off is on the right. And the Spitfire did a much better job. Goof Off is on the left and LA's Totally Awesome is on the right. And the LA's Totally Awesome did a much better job. LA's Totally Awesome is on the left and Simple Green HD is on the right. And the LA's Totally Awesome did a better job. Simple Green Pro HD is on the left and OxyClean is on the right. And OxyClean did better. And OxyClean is on the left and Simple Green Aircraft is on the right and the OxyClean did better. The results are very close and it's very subjective, but the Super Clean and the Spitfire did the best with the rating of 1. Zepp and Oil Eater also performed very well and earned a 1.5. Before soaking the concrete blocks in oil, the blocks were light gray. The full-size block is on the right and has not been cleaned. Unfortunately, even after applying the degreasers twice and pressure washing the blocks, they are still badly stained from the oil. However, the OxyClean did the best in the lineup. Simple Green Aircraft finished in 2nd place, Purple Power finished in 3rd, Spitfire 4th, and LA's Totally Awesome 5th place. So which degreaser is the best? If one takes into account all four categories, the OxyClean came in on top with an average finish of 3.25. Zet performed almost as well with the 2nd place finish and Super Clean finished in 3rd. One might argue that degreasers should not be tested on cotton. Removing that category, Super Clean came in on top with an average finish of 2.67. Spitfire finished in 2nd with an average score of 3 and Oil Eater 3.33. I thoroughly enjoy reviewing products, however, I'm really curious about what you think regarding the future of the channel. Should I broaden out and do things like rebuilding a car transmission or upgrading an engine to perform better? All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested, so I'm really curious to hear your ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.